Mom, do you know where John is? The photographer's trying to finish up the group photos and he keeps running off with Lana. Uh, no, I haven't seen him. I thought Lana was with Tess. Um, I'll go take a look. Well, the photographer's on a really tight schedule, so we don't really have time to run around looking for him. Well, it's really important that we stick to the schedule, so if you have to take photos without him, it's fine. Just keep going. Okay. Just a friend? Just a friend? Really? Yes, she was my neighbor growing up and we just stayed friends all these years. Like I said, what's so hard to believe about that? She said she loved you and she seems to know every single person here. Well, when you know someone a long time, they know a lot of the same people as you. Wait, she said she loved me? Yeah, she did. See, I knew something was up. I highly doubt she meant romantically. She meant love like we've known each other for a long time and she cares about me. Like that. Cares about you? She cares about you? What's going on here? Did you date her? John, it's so good to see you. I had the pleasure of sitting with your amazing girlfriend during the wedding. How are you? Hi, Tess. It's so good to see you. We're kind of in the middle of something. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to interrupt. I just want to see John. It's been so long since I've seen you. You look great today. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Bye. Seriously? And now she's complimenting your looks in front of me? She's so disrespectful. Lana, she was saying I looked nice because I'm all dressed up for my sister, one of her longest friend's wedding. Oh, cut the BS. I know she's into you. I can tell. So did you date her or not? No, we never officially dated. She was never my girlfriend, if that's what you're asking. Hmm, I'm not buying it. John, there you are. Cammy's been looking everywhere for you. They're doing group photos. Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah, um, I'll be there shortly. Did you lose Tess, Lana? I can go find her for you. No, I didn't lose Tess. I wanted to find John, so Tess was more concerned about the open bar, so she went there. Okay, well, John, you better go find your sister because she's missing some big photos with you. He'll go in a minute. We're having some issues right now. Oh, uh, what's going on? Can I help with anything? No, I was just going. You wait. Yes, there actually is a problem. Tess, why on earth would you sit me with her? Did something happen with Tess, honey? I'm so confused here. <laughs> you think it's okay to sit some girl that loves your son and is obsessed with him, obviously, next to his current girlfriend? That's so awkward. Lana, she's not obsessed with me. She's a longtime friend. Oh my gosh, honey. Well, who couldn't love John? And let me tell you, that is a gift to have someone that's so loved by so many people. <laughs> what? Now, when Tess's family moved in next door, did we wish that they would grow up and get married? Absolutely. And did we love her like a daughter all these years? Absolutely. And oh my gosh, in first grade, they would hold hands walking to the school bus every single morning. It was the sweetest thing. But we understand that that's not how life works. <sighs> I knew it. You did date. You are not talking about the fact that I held her hand in first grade as a date, are you? Don't forget going to the middle school dance together. Mom, you're not really helping here. Wow, really? So is there anything else I should know about this Tess woman? Well, I'll tell you what. Mom, maybe not. No, no, she's asking about Tess, so let me tell her about Tess. Hmm, I'm all ears. There was this one time in high school when John's girlfriend dumped him and he was so upset and Tess dropped everything, went to the store, got some snacks and showed up at our house at 11 o'clock at night. Mom, come on, is this really necessary? And we saw that night how she truly and selflessly cared for our son. And I always wish that night that they would end up together because that is what you want to see with your son. You want to see someone that treats him kindly, respectfully, and wouldn't make him feel bad for being with his family. Since we've known Tess, she's been kind, supportive, and a great friend to John. And I'm so grateful that she is in his life. And I know he's an adult, can make his own decisions, but sometimes I wish that I could cut people out that treat him poorly. Anyways, <laughs> I've got a busy day, so um, I'm going to leave you guys with that, and I'm going to go now. Bye now.